I'm here with Carl from NAC 3D Design. He has made uh, quite a machine here. Carl, what, what can you tell me about about the White Knight, the printer? What, what what's going on here? Uh, the White Knight is a uh, a 3D belt printer. It, it's very similar to a printer most people may have seen called the Black Belt. The biggest difference, I wanted to prove that you didn't have to spend ten thousand dollars to have a belt printer. Uh, so I built this one. The and it's about $2,000 in parts, all good quality parts. It's using a Duet Wi-Fi, a BMG extruder, a Mosquito hot end. Uh, it's a stainless steel, seamless belt covered in build tack. And uh, well, it, it's my mad scientist creation, basically. Yeah, so, so the, the design of all the printed parts, that's your own design? Yeah, uh, well, a lot of it originated with a D-Bot, but pretty much every part on it, I've adjusted and tweaked and moved locations for pulleys and stuff to make it work with this design. But the original design started off as a D-Bot Core XY and then got tilted to a 45 and the belt. And yeah, and we see it here printing. I would imagine it's difficult to, to get started with the print. Did you have to do anything with the nozzle to have it start to print at a 45 degree? Yeah, you, you need a really... Uh, steeply angled nozzle similar like what an mk8 nozzle would be so that it's like if you look at an e3d they've got that big hex space on the back if you don't cut the nozzle back all the way the the hex will catch the belt before the tip of the nozzle does so it's got to be a longer if you, when you get a chance there's a bunch of nozzles on the display over there by the that show how you got to have it cut yeah just gonna grab it real quick Yeah, so, so the nozzle are, are a little bit custom to, to accommodate the tilt. Right. Uh, yeah. And then you have a smaller version here on the other side. That's your as well? Yes, this is, this is the little brother or the squire, we call it, because every knight needs a squire. Uh, I got asked by lots of people, okay, that 400 by 430 is, is really cool, but can you make something a little more practical, home use size? So this one here was designed, it fits in the same footprint as a CR-10S Pro or a DaVinci 1.0. The only difference is if you want to print really big, you got to make sure you leave space out the back of it so that, you know, well, obviously your print can extend on through. Yeah, and is, is it like challenges when you are doing a long print to keep it uh, consistently balanced with a, with a build, build plate so, so it doesn't like tend to yeah. bend or break off the build plate while it's printing? Yeah, you're, you're, the only thing that limits you is how far you can support your build. Like I have a couple of uh, roller sections at home, like food grade rollers, that I've got a 10 foot and a five foot that I line up on the end. So it comes off the build sheet and then it just starts rolling on the rollers. And if anybody watches the video I did for printing the, the Thanos blade, you'll see it going out on five feet of rollers when I printed that. Yeah, it's not a one continuous print. Yeah, it's, it's actually two continuous prints from tip to tip is eight feet, four inches, and it's two halves put together. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see that you, you the glue, they each, each half together. If you, if you see right here, you can see the seam where it comes up through. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's cool. 16 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's quite, quite a project. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. And, and is, is this something that you're doing as a commercial product? For people to buy or is it open built it's, it's all open source all, all the files are out on github right now under knack 3d designs white knight um all my my youtube channel i'm pu publishing all the how-to videos on how to assemble it i'm on like episode 25 i think it's going to take me about 30 to finish so i know there's people that are waiting for me to finish up the last couple and be done but yeah that's cool then you're supporting the community and allowing them to to do do their own version